question is the amendments be agreed to and give the call to the Leader of the Australian Greens. Mr. Speaker, these amendments make a bad bill worse and they should be opposed. And if you're after a clue about why that is the case, you should look no further than the fact that Labor has let the Leader of the Opposition write the laws of this country. Right? Well, let the Leader of the Opposition write the laws of this country. After Order. a misleading Order. Order. scare campaign the... led by the Leader of the Opposition that was aimed at calling on the government to do something they couldn't do because the High Court, as we believe in the separation of powers, had made its ruling. Nonetheless, the they ran a campaign, Cowper a misleading fear campaign, and the, op and the government caved and let the Leader of the Opposition the member for Cowper the will of cease country. interjecting. And the Leader in of the Australian that, Greens will resume his seat. The member for Cowper will cease interjecting or be warned. The Leader of the Australian Greens has the call. And in doing that, there wasn't any principle that Labor wasn't prepared to throw overboard. And this is a broken election promise from the government because Labor went to the election with this as their platform. Order. Labor opposes mandatory sentencing, it read. In substituting the decisions of politicians for those of judges, mandatory sentencing undermines the independence of the judiciary. It leads to unjust outcomes and it's often discriminatory in practice. Mandatory sentencing does not reduce crime and leads to perverse consequences that undermine community safety, such as by making it more difficult to successfully prosecute criminals. That was what they took to the Australian people. And then after a few days of pressure from the Liberals running a misleading scare campaign, blaming the government for something that it wasn't their fault, Order. the government caved. Now, we all accept, we all accept Order. The that there are of the responsibilities that we have in this place where we have to have Member a balance act. And no one in this place, no one in this place condones the kind of crimes that have been referred to during the course of this debate. But our Order. Our responsibility here in this place is to work out how to apply the rule of law. And the Leader of the Opposition has spent a career demonising refugees and migrants and punching down on people. Order. And so when he comes to this place and says that that amounts another scare campaign, the role of this place should be to pause and should be to consider and to say, what has the High Court said to us? And the High Court has said that indefinite detention cannot the be used as a warehouse to store people forever. And that if you want to have a sensible immigration detention system, you need to do one that isn't based on locking people the up forever, of the nationals. indefinitely. That's what they've said. And in response to that, what should have happened is we should have come back here and had a reasoned, considered debate about how to deal with the High Court saying, for a, making a significant point that you shouldn't just be able to lock someone up forever and you shouldn't be able to do it. Right? The That's what the High Court has said. And the, the opposition might not of like the, that, the but that's the what the High Court Arena. has said. And in response to that, it's incumbent on all of us then to have a reasoned debate about how to manage the principles of the rule of law, the High Court, needs of community safety and fairness towards people. But that's not what's happened here. That's not what's happened here. What's happened here is a scare campaign whipped up by the Leader of the Opposition and the government gave into it to the extent of chucking their own platform overboard. It will be an interesting conversation with a number of Labor Party branch members, I expect, when they say, why did our platform not even survive a year and a bit in government? And the problem is, the problem is I'd urge the Labor Party not to engage in a race to the bottom with the Leader of the Opposition, because there's nothing the Leader of the Opposition won't do. He'll keep going lower and lower and lower. And you've heard that this is just the start. You introduce a bill and they say it's not good enough. You have to breach your party policy. You do that and then they come back and say, well, let's do even more. And until this, part, this government has the spine and has the courage to have a debate about principles, and not give in to fear campaign, it is going to get worse 
and the Leader of the Opposition is going to change this country more and more for the worse.